Kelly was born into a wealthy family. Her parents owned a construction company. Since Kelly was an only child, her father and mother tried to involve her in the family business from a young age. But the girl had no entrepreneurial spirit. But she had real talent and a love for learning languages. She spoke Spanish, German, Italian and even Chinese. That's why she became a foreign language teacher at a private school. Kelly could not work at all and live at her pleasure, because she owned shares in the company and she had good dividends. But her pleasure was in teaching languages. She met Michael at a school. He was a teacher of French and she of Chinese and German. All her colleagues thought they were the perfect couple. And Hannah herself was sure of it, until she got to know the man better. The relationship between a man and a woman developed very quickly. Kelly fell in love so much that she wanted to be with this man 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Three weeks after the first kiss, Michael proposed moving in together. Kelly happily agreed and invited Michael to move in with her, because he rented an apartment, while she lived in her own apartment which was given to her by her wealthy parents. This is how the couple began to have a life together. Michael remained the same romantic. He gave flowers, cooked breakfast in bed. Kelly was over the moon. Two months later, Michael started hinting about meeting Kelly's parents and that his intentions for her were very serious. One weekend the couple went to a family dinner. The parents were happy to meet Michael. The mother was almost jumping with happiness. Finally their daughter at 28 had found a good man. Her father, however, was very reserved. Michael and Kelly stayed the night and the next morning the father and Michael went fishing, where they talked at length about something. After the weekend at his parents' house, Michael and Kelly lived as before. They went to work together, they went for walks together, and Michael constantly gave Kelly nice signs of attention, for example flowers or her favorite sweets. Kelly thought Michael was the perfect man because he rarely saw his friends, he didn't drink or smoke, and he didn't play computer games. A month after meeting his parents, Michael arranged a date at an expensive restaurant, where he proposed to Kelly. But the woman was not ready for that. Trying not to offend Michael, she said that she loves him very much, but they have not even lived together for six months and it is very early for an engagement. Michael got very upset and immediately asked the waiter for the bill. For the rest of the evening he tried not to talk to Kelly and slept on the couch separately. But the next morning, Michael started acting like before. And a few days later, Kelly found out how he really felt about her. It was around midnight and they were lying in bed talking. Michael asked when Kelly would be ready to get married, because he had serious plans for her, he wanted a family and children. When the woman replied that a year from now, the man smiled, kissed her and went to take a shower. Suddenly Michael received a text message. Kelly had never taken his phone and never snooped, but at that very moment she wondered who was writing to her beloved at night. She had seen the password to the phone many times and knew it by heart, so it was easy to open correspondence with an unknown number. What she read was not meant for her eyes. In Messenger Michael boasted that he had found a rich fool and was already living in her swanky apartment, that he had already met her parents and was about to convince her to marry him. It turned out that on a fishing trip her father said he wanted his daughter to have an ambitious husband to bring into the family business and Michael told how he immediately started acting like a businessman. Michael also wrote in one message that as soon as he was allowed into the family business, he would make decent money and quit his dull teaching job. Kelly was disgusted to read it, but as she scrolled through the message, she found even more horrible messages that hurt her right in the heart. Michael wrote that he had met an ugly Chinese teacher and found out she was very wealthy, so he decided to hit on her. Only now Kelly realized why Michael was in such a hurry to move in, meet his parents, and get married. Everything came together like a puzzle, and Kelly decided to teach him a lesson. The next day was a work day for both of them. The woman asked a co-worker to do her last two lessons for her and went home. While the handyman changed the door locks, the woman gathered all of her lover's things. When Michael got home, he saw several bags of his belongings standing by the door. He tried to open the door with his old key, but it was no use. Then he started knocking and calling and it wasn't until an hour later that he did leave. A woman called the management and said she was very sick, so she would be out for a few days. Michael visited her every day after work, knocking on her apartment, calling from unknown numbers. 
A week later Kelly came to work and started acting like nothing had happened. Michael tried to talk to her, but the woman told him that she had found another man who was smarter and richer than Michael. So she decided to break up with him. Michael was shocked. To humiliate him even more, Kelly lied to him that she never had feelings for him and was just using him as her toy and introducing him to her parents to get him off her back. Of course it was all a lie. Working at the school with Michael was difficult, but the woman had no intention of quitting. She continued to do her job, which she loved, and also demonstrated her happiness and well-being. A month later Michael quit his job. Ten years passed. With the help of her father, Kelly opened her own small language school for children. She was now both an entrepreneur and a teacher. She also met another French teacher, whom she married, and became a happy wife and mother.